Welcome to Forget Work, Watch Films, with your hosts, Tony Howe, Thomas Connors, and Robert Connors. Well, hello everybody out there, and welcome to Forget Work, Watch Films. It is the 27th of February, I hope everybody is well. How is everybody in the studio today? I've got coronavirus. Have you really left? Well, don't cough on me. I'm all right. No, I haven't really got it. I'm all right. He's been drinking Italian. He's got Peroni virus. Ha! <laughs> Having that one. A bit of Italiano. A bit Americano. So, welcome everybody. This is the latest episode. I know you all tuned in last time. We all took a vow. <laughs> I know where this we're going to go straight to it. I, mean, <laughs> I, I bet this originally weren't your first point before. And you've yeah. now moved it to your first point. Oh, I, I watched... Parasite last week and I convinced a load of people to watch it and there's only one person I right forgot there. I forgot I only remembered today at least no have. no he put it on realised he had to read and turned it off <laughs> at least at least you're honest yeah I could have made a right excuse yeah. like uh, I've had coronavirus oh. or I've been ill you've been ill you could have said I've watched it it was shit yeah or I could have yeah but can I can I just add please that I've watched it and I'm not going to go into detail. No, because next week we will talk about will it because I will watch it. Will yeah, we? no, definitely I we will. We need to think of a forfeit if he doesn't watch it. Hey, yeah. put it this way, I watched it and it it really... So the best movie at the Oscars, and I can, I can see why, to be honest, and it really... Two words to describe that film, right? Number one, curveball. Subtitles. Yeah, there is that. In fact, yeah, there's a lot of words to describe that movie. So, number one, curveball. Number two, layers. It's got a lot of layers to it. Mega. You'll probably think it's shit, but it's good. I no, enjoyed it. I'm definitely, seriously, I definitely will watch it. It just seems, I'll tell you this now, I know we say about forgetting work, but since I started this new job, days just seem to shoot, weeks just shoot past. You're working now, yeah, Monday, but life... to, Monday to Friday, instead of like when we used to work and have a day off every week. And uh, you know, before you know it, weekends here. Yeah. Part of me misses that. We, hey. used, we used to go to the cinema on a Tuesday afternoon, they'd all be yeah. up, there'd be us two in there. We'd go for free because we know how to get free cinema tickets. Um, hit us up if you want some. Don't forget, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while... You could miss it. Classic. There you go. Ferry Spuler for you. Right. Next. Li- so, we'll skip that. We'll come back to Parasite next week or the week after or the no, week after we next. No, we'll definitely come back to it next so, week. So, first thing I'm going at is movie news. There ain't much movie news this week, but what we did just do is watch the trailer for Candyman, which surely is a horror sort of classic. Revival. Of your, no, that is a horror classic of your time. Well, is it a horror classic? Is it a horror classic? Yeah, I think yeah, it is. Yeah. Would you put it up there with Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, no, Friday Thirteenth? When, 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 I think it's like a second layer one. Yeah, I haven't seen it. You've never seen no, any. But when, but when I was younger, when I was at primary school, I was aware of what it was and I knew of it. But in the last few years, I would say no. But nobody talks it. No, it's not as well known as. Freddie and Jason and all that but it was I remember it when I was young but it seemed to have faded away see I can remember it because at junior school everyone said if you say Candyman in Tipperary you get it happens but teacher come in and somebody had pissed on floor and he blamed me so I I, I, (laughs) could you (laughs) right that is so 
I don't even know what's just happened. No. <laughs> what, what, what has just gone off? Right, no. we're talking about candy bar. Yeah. How did we get to piss on the floor? No, I was in. I don't even know. I felt as though I'd actually blinked our existence for a bit. <laughs> right. In toilets and they're saying, oh, it's a candy bar in tip mirror, so a few of us all stood there doing it. Teacher flies in. What's this on the floor? I don't know. It looks yellow. You it weren't me anyway. But Candyman trailer, what do you think? Uh, it's basically it, obviously it's by the guy who did like Get Out Us and I, I'm not got high hopes for it um, I think it'll do well to tell you the truth because he's riding on a high what's his name again remind me Jordan P- Peele Jordan Peele he's on a bit of a high at minute huh. so I think if it comes out at right time what did you think to us. Did you watch us? Yeah, I watched us. We're all right. I'm not. It's you get know out of it that really. You know, I'm not a massive. Uh, or if, he, he, his thing is about. Uh, it's what, like celebrating black culture. And well, stuff, it's not it? just that. It's about the human motivation to like. It's about people, isn't it? That's the horror he's done round people. It's mm. not like an alien you know or a is? virus. I think it's or, or, a, or a, it's about people. You know, because we've just watched the trailer and you're familiar with the first one. This one's connected to the original, isn't it? It looked to me in the trailer like it was. Yeah, it's like, I mean, Tony Todd was the guy who was the Candyman. And, and we Great actually... Candyman. Yeah, who played Candyman. We actually saw him at one Comic-Con, one of the first ones we ever went to. Uh, and I don't know if they're playing up whether it's going to be him in it or not in it, etc., or if it's this guy. Uh, I, it, I, yeah. I personally, it's, I'm not bothered about hey, it. You know what is supposed to be really good that's just coming out at cinema? Go on. Um, is it? I can't remember if it's. this is exactly what it's called, The Invisible Man. Oh, it's supposed yeah. to be absolutely brilliant. I haven't seen no of it. <laughs> it's honestly, it's supposed cool. to be really good. Do you know I what? Think it's it a very, very strange take on modern it. take yeah. on it, isn't it? It's weird because it's so. It's that film is like it's invisible. It slipped under the radar. No, all you see is a random clip. That I comes liked up the on one YouTube. with Kevin Bacon. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't a bad film. That what was that? So film? I. Uh, Hollow Man Hollow Man yeah so for me Candyman looks nah not bothered about it not yeah. really bothered oh what did you think to that I'll not spend too much time on it but that other Saw trailer with Chris Rock strange I've not watched that I not yeah should have watched it because it, I just thought it was just He's written Chris Rock to me comedian stand up comedian it looks like he's taking it serious and though. it's like this weird Saw spin off I don't, it, it would just be on me, so... Yeah, it looks interesting. Right, now, last bit of movie news, and I'm only throwing this in here because it's come out today. Steven Spielberg has officially quit Indiana Jones 5, which is imminently about to start shooting. Is there still a place for Indiana Jones, or not? No. If it's done with the right director, in a farewell kind of take on it, no. then yeah. No. Because the person who's <laughs> directing it is Jason Mangold, who did Logan. James Mangold. James Mangold. And he did Logan. And although it that wasn't was shit. great. No, it weren't, perhaps it weren't the best, but it did make nearly $700 million. So it was a hit. And that, that was kind of done in, in a realist kind of tone with a farewell to Logan. Um, so I, And also, you know what film he did recently? Go on. Ford vs. Ferrari. Which obviously we've all watched and we oh, liked yeah. it. So I think if Indiana Jones is in his hands, it's yeah, but be that, pretty good. This bears no fucking bones to me because it's Indiana Jones. It's an eighties franchise. I, I think if the, it, to, what, what can you what strength can you give to Indiana Jones as a movie? All you're going to do to look at what whether they should do a five is look at four. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of three. I mean, two is not. Temple of Doom. Two, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. No. We're going to look like Raiders of the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and Indiana wow. Jones and the... Attack of the Clones. No. <laughs> Come on, now. We're just showing ourselves up. 
Sorry about that. You won't be able to tell listeners at home, but we did have to intervene with a cut because none of us could remember the odd Indiana Jones movie. Last Crusade. The Last Crusade. The Last I knew Crusade. it was about Holy Grail. I knew it was about that. You know what? I. But that's not a great film. No. Two's not that good. Temple of Doom's not bad. No, don't listen to this. But I tell you this now Raiders of Lost Ark is amazing. Well, thing is, Harrison Ford actually said last week that Indiana Jones has to match Marvel has to be a spectacle has to build a franchise has to hit home with the fans I like Harrison Ford I think he's brilliant so I I'll like, watch it right. I so you're see... going to watch Into the Wild yeah because I, I like Harrison Ford I thought it was because you like talking dogs well I've never met one do you know what I'd like to we need a buzzer or a noise that comes into play whenever we find something that you like. Because so far, we, we've only mentioned no, four films. Remember, you... no. Remember when, when, yeah, week, when we watched like Nice Art, Ford versus Ferrari. But it's when they keep regurgitating these old franchises, Unless which are brilliant films, but then they keep wheeling... No, me, but, no but let me, let me, uh, no, let no me just ask you. When it comes to Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford's basically in the twilight of his career... Yeah, is it not a good opportunity while he's healthy and he's able to do this one last film and see the character off? No, no. Because these other films that you're mentioning have got nothing to do with the first one. So, for example, Aliens, Sigourney Weaver's nowhere near the franchise towards the end, and it's gone off the rails. Whereas Indiana Jones, if they do a sto- a decent story to it, and they can wrap it up, and Indiana Jones is that's it. No, because they were all supposed to be doing that before. Thor was supposed to be like an handover to Sheila Buff to like Tekko because he was on and so Sheila Buff went mental yeah but come on South Park nailed it with the explanation of that film where it was George Lucas and Steven Spielberg raping in, in Indiana Jones yeah like yeah. that film was stupid Shia LaBeouf swinging with monkeys through jungle well aliens turn up it was just a bad <laughs> film. So to me, if you then, it's when he hides it. You've, you've got to look at then the way that Indiana Jones fits in and the way that there's the time it's an that it fits film. in because yeah, but if you remember it, original Indiana Jones is set around about thirties and I think even sort of like forties. You then when they did that older one, it was set round about 50s. So what are you going to do now? 60s. You set it in 1960s. No, it'd be, it'd be it it 80s, not it? It'd be in 80s. Indiana Jones, the character, fits into that 1930s, 1920s sort of American adventurer, old style. It don't fit into any modern sort of thing. Did you know I Dan Aykroyd in Indiana Jones? Is, one is, at, is he in Temple of Doom? No, I think he's in first one. He's one at Crew Guys when they get the Ark. All right, didn't know that. I agree though. Although I do like a sort of treasure map adventure type movie, but I'm not. Yeah, but there's a, this is the thing. To me, I'd rather him redo it and set somebody up like Chris Pratt and retake it back to them olden times, rather than. To keep when it with Harrison Ford. Just out of curiosity, when you say redo it, do you mean like remake it, or do you mean introduce Harrison Ford into the fra- introduce Chris Pratt no, into the I franchise? No, I mean redo it. Oh, I, I mean sort of that. like start again and make it like because when Indiana Jones were massive and sort of like did they, they did a, a load of novels. So to me, Indiana Jones as a character has got a massive life like uh, when I say massive life I mean like a massive storyline that they could do where they could do all sorts they could do Indiana Jones and I don't know the the Wall of China or something do you know what I mean what I'm saying is there's so many adventures they could have and so many adventures they could do but they can't do them now with Harrison Ford when he's in his bloody 80s well he's not he's in his (laughs) 70s No, he's he's brilliant, Harrison Ford. Yeah, I know he is. (laughs) But what I'm saying is, redo it, do some new adventures, bring Chris Pratt, and if it don't work, it don't work. But it's not going to work with Harrison Ford. It's not. Can I just say, by the way, does it matter to you that Steven Spielberg has no involvement? I don't think that. Well, it does. He's producing it. I'm sure he's somehow involved. It does. It does probably because 
he is he is yeah. absolutely brilliant. He's still brilliant. He's, a, he's not done it good for ages. Last film I watched from his was BFG, and that was shit. Yeah, BFG's not great. No, what did not he last great. do? What well, last awful. thing he did? Lincoln. No, he did something oh, else. Oh, yeah, under slavery. I can't remember what it were. Seriously. It was about half decent. It's usually, it usually is half decent stuff that he does. He, he has he has not done a good film since, what, I don't know. Anyway, that's it, it. That's it for movie news this week. So no, we'll he did say, Ready Player One. Yeah, that was good. That were all right, that. So, should we say we're not looking forward to Indiana Jones? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not interested. I am. I, I like, just don't. I like Harrison Ford. I just Ford. don't think. <laughs> Fuck you like Harrison Ford. I, I don't know. like him, but I'm not watching Into the Wild. It's a dead franchise, well, isn't it? Well, that, Into the Wild is supposed to be really good. Get lost. It, Who says that dog? I've read it. I right. like dogs. Anyway. Yeah, I like dogs, but not talking dogs. We it are don't fucking Ford. talk in it the does. film. It does. It does talk it in doesn't. film. It doesn't. It's just a, it's just a know, companion. Dogs can't look up. Anyway. <laughs> All this talk. Harrison Ford's a superstar, isn't it? Proper is. I like Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah, I but like Harrison Ford. Anyway, we worked it out, you I'm like talk, Harrison I'm Ford. We're talking about fucking Harrison Ford. There's not much happening in realm of movies this week. There's not, not much to see, nothing much to. But there is something I kind of want to do talk about. And there's a new superstar in particular that everybody's talking about Billy Eilish. No? McCullough Culkin. No? He's an American Irish story. You know, I read a new interview with Macaulay Culkin the other day. It was very interesting. He's, he, he's, anyway, it Does was, he still go out with me and the Coonies? No, they split. He's just married to Kutcher. She's married to Ashton. No, he did go out with her for a long time. Yeah, he went out anyway, with her. Anyway, fucking, this is digressed. Sorry. New superstar I want to talk about. Yeah? Who was tipped to be in a new Sylvester Stallone movie. Do you know where he's going with this? Tyson Fury. Right, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all watched the fight together. Tyson. There's a there's a documentary that's being shown worldwide about him. I think he if he goes into movies, he's is 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 a showman. He's like a showman anyway, isn't he? He's a full on entertainer, isn't he? Yeah, I love Tyson, but I'm not sure. I know, I know. I you think mean. I, I think you would have to be Indiana Jones and Tyson. <laughs> yeah, me too with Tyson. That'd be good. But what I was what I was saying is, I watched an interview with him the other day. And they said to him, what have you got lined up? And he said, it's funny you asked that, because last week I got off the phone with Sylvester Stallone, who wants to cast me in a new movie. So I'm sort of guessing, are we talking the bad guy in Creed 3? Because that would be a good role for him, wouldn't it? Bad yeah. guy, or Expendables 4. R- right. Either way. Now, before getting a call from Sylvester Stallone would be a massive thing. If I got a call from Sylvester Stallone, it'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. But, we want you to do escape plan four. Yeah, yeah. but at minute, getting a call from a, <laughs> from so it massive, and I don't know. And I'm just thinking, Tony Bellew it knew James Bond. It didn't do all for him being oh, in Creed yeah, Two. So really, well, what is it? it Tony Bellew is in James Bond. No. He's oh, in fuck's Creed 2, so what I'm saying is, That's it's it, not yeah. launched. Yeah. He's yeah. not launched. He's... You've just said Tony Bellew oh, being in New James no. Bond. <laughs> oh, God. You're not listening again. I am. You're, you're picturing Harrison Ford naked. Uh, Come on, Back man. to what I was talking about, before I rudely interrupted. What I'm saying is, yeah, no. Tyson Fury being in Creed 3 yeah. might not do what? nothing for him. Yeah. And if he's in Expendables 4... That probably ain't going to do all for him. No, I agree. But all I'm saying is, he is a superstar of the moment, isn't it? Which all this oh, is doing, yeah. all this is doing, is sort of leading me. Up. I don't, I don't think he should go into movies. I mean, what they've said is, and what they said it to Triple H when uh, after fight, like once he finishes. Would you like so WWE, like yeah. take WWE, him into yeah. WWE, which he already has been? I in. saw that, but I think he'd more what, likely do that. And do you know what Triple H said? Go he's, on. he's born to entertain. Yeah, you know? I think he's more likely to go in and do WWE than to do movies. I know then WWE people like obviously there's Rock, who you love. There's yeah. Batista, who's sort of like doing quite well at minute. 
Yeah, true. Yeah. All, all you know, I'm saying is, 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 is the man that everybody worldwide is talking about, isn't it? And all I, I saw Sylvester Stallone's interested in him, but I think it could be an opportunity, a possibility. I, I don't think he should. He I need, think he should concentrate need, on his boxing. No, he'd need to pick the right film. So, for example, Vinnie Jones. Nah. No, <laughs> Vinnie Jones. He's not a top, top actor. He's been in some shit films, hasn't he? Yeah. But... One of, his fir- one of his first films, apart from Lock Stock, was Gone in 60 Seconds. And he was brilliant in yeah, that. Yeah, he's good in Do you know what I mean? So if he picks the right film... What, a film yeah, where he does talk? What, Fury? Yeah. No, but, but, but for me, if you look at the original Rocky series, who was like the main character who was brought into like the third one? Uh, uh I want to Dolph say Alex T. No, oh, it's Rocky Four. Mr. It's T. Uh, Mr. T. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's very he, good in that. Yeah, yeah. And H- Hulk Hogan's in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when he goes, I'm going to break you. What does Rocky say? Go Don't on. go for it. Yeah, but uh, no, so I yeah, it just depends on his film choice. But uh, I don't think he's destined to win an Oscar. But it'd be funny. Maybe he could turn up in the... He's ha- a character. You know, he's an entertainer. He's a superstar. Maybe if he Isn't played it? himself in a film like Mike Tyson in The Hangover, that would well, be funny. Well, we're gonna, another thing I we're going to get to is they, they keep saying he's, he's, we're part, he's part of the biggest comeback in British boxing for a long time. Yeah. They'll probably make a movie about it one day, won't they? Because he's such a character. Yeah. He's, so, he's, like, he's already becoming an icon. Um, but obviously, we all got together to watch the fight the other night, which was immense, right? And I get so into it, I get right really buzzing. But then I start. I went when I got four hundred quid online. <laughs> yeah, but then I kind of started thinking, like, getting into watching something like that. I know everybody watches all these, you know, different types of sports, but sports movies, you forget how many of them there actually are. But are there any out there that you sort of get into, or you did get into? As much as you were watching a real sport, you're like you're screaming at TV. Think Just, of, think of the best sports film you know of. Escape and I'll, victory and I'll think time. of mine. And after three, we both say it. Think right, of another one. Just said it. Think of another one. Sports one. Yeah, I've got one that instantly springs to mind. It's one of the great. No, there's two that's just sprung to mind, but I'll stick with the first one. Well, man, but I've just said mine. I'm not going to think of another one. No. Right. Stuck I was going to say Cool Runnings. I were never going to set Cole Run in. Do you know what? Right. sat here until bleeding right. end of time. Okay, but then the other one that I thought of, guess Go what on. it was? Guess what it was? Uh, Bend It Like Beckham. Space Jam. See, I'm, I don't like that. Oh, my God. Well, I actually wrote a quick list. This is going to be difficult, this podcast, this week, because there's some animosity going on here, isn't there? They're in. There's just a different taste in films. I mean, have you ever seen Escape to Victory? What, with Pelle? Yeah. And I mean, that when he does that overhead kick. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I fill up every time what he does that overhead kick. What about that other one? Oh, we're at Shaolin Soccer. <laughs> That's very good, that. Yeah. It's not brilliant. Really? Some it's common weird. ground. <laughs> so, do you know soccer. what? Do you want, the amount it doesn't spring to mind straight away, but the amount of sports movies are, that are out there are unbelievable. The hundreds. But even no, but really good. Think ones. of a sport, really good. And there's ones. probably been a film about but it. Not only different sports. I've just thought of another one. Go on, dodgeball. <laughs> See not, what I mean? Not only different sports, but different genres as well. So you're talking comedies. I've got so like, so you try and name a few more comedy sports movies. There's shit loads. But uh, which one? But <gasps> basketball. No. Yeah. Um, oh, what's it called? Major League. Yeah. Mighty Ducks. Mighty yeah. Ducks. No. What's so what's like, that one we uh, we all little kids in baseball? The Sandlot. Sandlot kids. Is it that? I mean, I would think I've never seen it. Else. What about Waterboy? Mama, 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 yeah. mama, 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 we're on a roll. Yeah, and then dodgeball, space jam, cool runnings. I mean, Ace jokes. Ventura really is sort of like done quite around like... No, yeah, As, but, a, as American football as yeah, a major true. part of yeah. it's sort of like... Dim, 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 I just dim, dim, dim. Meant, I, right, what I was saying is how much I get into boxing and it's an event. Can you think of any films that spring to mind that you've watched that you, your heart were pounding when you watched it, that you really got into it? 
Well, as a, 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 a sport, a, a sport. Yeah. A You're movie. rooting for somebody. You're rooting. Ah, oh, there's always loads. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but there's loads. You no, know, it's funny for me. Where because I want, cause I'd, you do, don't you? Well, I, I, I don't. like these real life what ones. What about goal? Have you seen that? No. I am. Um, tell you what, <laughs> tell you <laughs> what. When Saturday Good comes. Talk, bro. When the Saturday comes. <laughs> it's a goal. Have you seen that? No, you know, don't do all. There's me. about four of them in there. <laughs> yeah. Alan Shearer, one Beck of them. Beckham be one of them. Tell Johnny what, is. Yeah, he plays for Real Madrid, doesn't he? Tell you what, didn't really do all for me though. Rocky films. I like the story and the classic. You know, when I watch the actual fights, it doesn't do all. I know it just feels fake. See, I'm not a fan of one. Two's alright. I like three. Four's brilliant. Five's utter shit. Six. Babo. Uh-uh. I, do you know what? I enjoyed Balboa when I watched it. I did. Yeah, it's not bad. But, uh, so I'm just going to... But there'll be loads of films that I get... There's films I do watch, sports films, and you do get it, because there's always that bit where, like like Major League, where they've got to lose, but or they're expected to lose, but then they come round <laughs> you and know, you like build it up and it's like, oh, they're going to win and it's yeah. nice. You get right you know, I, wa- I literally watched Space Jam a few days ago as well. You know one one thing that springs to mind about like, oh, they've got to win, they've got to win. I know it's not a film, but that episode of South Park where uh, <laughs> Stan coaches that yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he says, yeah, that, he says absolutely that kid, what, what's wrong with you? Like, why can't you play? <laughs> I have cancer. Yeah, it's that, like really that, depressing. Well, that's basically took from Mighty Ducks. Yeah, you know, but then when, they, they, when they go out at end, and then they go out for this epic <laughs> match, and they get yeah, bats I mean, there's different kinds, <laughs> there's different kinds of sports movies, isn't there? Like, fuck, yeah, Concussion with Will Smith. Who's gonna Never watch? Seen that. Who's gonna watch that? But I'm talking about a sports movie where, like I say, you, you you really you can only watch it properly once. You know when you watch it that first time, your you, your heart's pounding, you get right into it. I mean, there's a uh, recent I I Tonya with Margot Robbie, she, where she's ice skating. Now I think that she Never she won it. best actress. It's actually Blades of Glory. Yeah, with Will Ferrell. Yeah. Let's talk about what about you? What your favourite? I don't think there is a sports film that I I got right. Like I know it's uh, Cool Runnings is the only film John Bell's ever cried at because he wanted him to win. Seriously. <laughs> well, should I tell you a movie that I think is absolutely fucking brilliant and I, I can't rate it enough? Space Jam. I've just thought of another another one. There's film. loads. Once we get Fields of Dreams. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, it's 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 love so that film. That film's so That's sad. It. End. Don't spoil it. No. But if you haven't seen Field of Dreams, I've not seen go and watch it. Right. You've never seen Field no. of Dreams? Well, that, oh, that's Jesus what that classic Christ. line's from, isn't it? If you build, build it, it, they, they will, will come. come. If you build it, and then he's they will come. End his pain. And he's like, and then it all clicks at end. Yeah. And, it, and it's like, no, thank you. Hey, how about a game of catch? Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> oh, God, I'm yeah. filling up that. Yeah. Watch Field of Dreams. Yeah. Right, I'll watch Parasite this week. You watch Field of Dreams. Yeah. Uh, on my list, sports movies that I really, really did get into. Go on. The Fighter with Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. Right. I've just thought of another <laughs> one now. I've just thought of one, seriously, yeah. that I proper get into and a proper warrior with well, Tom that, Hardy. That's another one on my that list. That is a great <laughs> film. <laughs> Well, the thing is... Fighting, I did get into. Yeah. Yeah, it is a what classic. What about fighting with Channing Tatum? I think I have watched that, but it I can't shit. remember how to I watched it, it was fucking shit. I mean... Is, is, no. Isn't that the one, like, is... It's, it's like... bare knuckle boxing. Yeah. It? It's like, you know, like a <laughs> car park or something like, like that. Like Step Up, but with yeah. fighting. I think it's usually people who are a bit slow there. No, what about Step Up 3? Because that's like a sport. Stop saying shit films. So, obviously we're talking... Oh, step up to. <laughs> no. Take a, another a recent film that were fucking brilliant. Southpaw. Did you, you watch oh, that? Yeah, yeah. Shit, that. No, it weren't. It was good, but it was very Dude, rocky S. You played a right role. Yeah, no. very rocky S, that. It was... Anyway. Any more? Not off the top of my head, but they do pop into your head when you don't realise it. But you'd, be, your list. you'd be surprised how many of these are like Oscar winners. 
which sort of shows you you know like you watch a sports movie it's cheesy what about that one done that one that, uh, what about Coach Carter never seen it that one what what uh, Clint Eastwood directed the yeah. Moneyball Oscars. No, never seen that not Moneyball it was yeah, no, Million money, Dollar Baby no Moneyball yeah. that's another one that's about baseball no, it's Brad Pitt though that, yeah it? never Clint seen Eastwood that never seen it. Million Dollar Baby that yeah. one best picture that I've got that on my list never um, seen it I ain't either. Actually. Another film that won Best Picture, as far as I'm aware, The Blind Side. I oh, know that's not our thing because that's American. Oh no, that that is Sandra very Bullock. good. Yeah, I mean that's once again where See, sport was the... is sort of like the it's just part of the storyline. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's really about him, but that is that's very good. That film, The Warrior, like you said. Oh, so good. I've watched that twice, Ray. And I, I think I, I had to watch it with subtitles on because Nick, Nol- Nick Nolte and Tom uh, Hardy just fucking mumble all the way through. But the fight scenes in it are spectacular, aren't they? It's, you know when Kurt Angle comes in? Yeah. And, he, and he just proper... Because actually you think to yourself, this is, a, this is a proper, proper film, but they've like put Kurt Angle in it and you think this could make it a bit of a... A bit of a joke, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you put in a WWE star. It's not as though you put uh, Brock Lesnar in, who is a proper UFC champion. He does you look well in, in it, though. You've put in, like, Kurt uh, Angle, who's a well, well... Not just an obscure, but a well... But, He's that a, said... I've met him. That said, it, it's brilliant, Yeah, he film. plays it right he well, because he's right got, like... Well. Stubble and that. Yeah, because he, he, he looks, looks like he does look right Russian. Well, he plays it? like a Russian, doesn't he? And he does look. Do you know what? It's, I, I actually did get right get into Warrior because there's a sort of there's a tone set between both brothers, isn't there? Well, and it's this backstory what's, about what's going to happen in the result, and I yeah. did right get into it. I'll not spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but it is. A good I mean, film. as you two will know, as brothers, and obviously I'm a brother. There's always one it, right it's, tough one. It's a, it does resonate. Do you know that relationship between brothers? It's a good do you know film. what I mean? It's a very good film. Um, tell you another. It was more sort of like um, I don't know, sort of boxing movies like that. Sort of individual. You're following the journey of somebody. And another film I think is really good. And yeah, I know what you'll say. Depressing. The wrestler. We make it wrong. Never seen it. I wanted to watch that. Re- that was his massive yeah, comeback. I really enjoyed. That. I don't, oh, I don't know about, if I tried watching what it. What about, just... um, while we're on the subject of wrestling, not to take away from this film, uh, Fighting With My Family. That's, that's a good film. Really good. No, the wrestler Do you was... know who directed that? Right. His first ever directorial debut film. Stephen Merchant. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I remember him being that thing. Stephen Merchant. <laughs> uh, yeah. The wrestler, it was Mickey Rourke, who was going to be at Liverpool Comic Con next week, along with us. Um, it was his first big comeback film since he went off rails, wasn't it? But uh, and it was supposed to be really, really, really good. It's a depressing film. I think I have seen a, a bit of it, but not properly all the way through. It's one of them that you put on. Do you know who it could be a movie? Do you know who it could be a biography about? Um, Bret Hart. So you imagine the lycra and the long hair and the theatrics back in day. Don't really sit well now, does it? Yeah, there's people who worship him. Well, well, one film that uh, not moving the heads of films we've watched, but one film I did manage to finish off watching, and I don't think I mentioned it on any other podcast, is Peanut Butter Falcon. Oh, yeah. And the only reason I mentioned that is because obviously the big part of it is about wrestling. And Jake the Snake... Me. Seriously, I thought to myself because <laughs> I knew he looked rough every time I'd seen him, but he looked proper rough. Mick Foley, I mean, that, Mick you know, Foley that... looked like he'd lost. Like I thought they'd like cut him in half. Yeah, but thing is, and all with Jake the Snake, he's one of them blokes where he's got that rough. He's like Ray skinny but with a massive belly yeah like, don't look very, great. But that no because there's a bit where he sat it back at Cardiff in Midland, and he's massive, yeah. absolutely yeah. massive. Yeah. He just looks ill. You know, talking about like when you get into more... You've seen 8 Mile, haven't you? Yeah. And obviously that's sort of like a competitive movie, but you know the battle raps at the end when Eminem takes over in the whole place? When I watch that, I'm, obviously I've watched it thousands of times. I get right into it and I'm buzzing. So like other sports movies, like Rocky, it doesn't... Like I say, it doesn't feel real. There's certain bits in movies I mean? that... 
do have an effect on you. Yeah. The bit in Warrior when he fights his brother at end and he has to sort of like he knows what he has to do to to beat him, but Ah, oh, seriously, every well, time it has an effect on me. And seriously, you might laugh, but when Pelly does that fucking overhead kick, I can watch that a million times. I love that yeah. bit in Escape to Reach when he does that overhead <laughs> so kick. It's so brilliant, that film. Yeah, another film, uh, another scene. Um, do you know, in. Like, did you say you've seen The Fire? Yes, not? yeah. The scene when Mark Wahlberg's character. Um, I do know his name, but I forgot it. He's having his big, massive shot. It's his, he's on TV. Christian Bale, who once supposedly knocked down Sugar Ray Leonard, even though people say he slipped, he's living off that glory, isn't it? But they're watching it in prison because he's an addict, can you remember? Yeah. So he's rooting for his brother to win. I did get into that. I did. I remember yeah. thinking, fucking come on. Um, I think we've covered most of the list. Oh, Probably the biggest boxing movie of all time. Next to Rocky, obviously. Can you guess? Raging Bull. Joe Never Pesci. seen it. Yeah. No, I haven't. It's black and white. It don't mean I don't watch it because it's black what? and white. It's just one of those films I just don't feel any need yeah, to, to uh, watch. Yeah, yeah. The Longest Yard, that were good. Not seen that. Which one with that one? Well, they remade it with Bill oh, Reynolds originally. I have it? seen it, yeah. They and remade it with like, and Chris Rock and yeah. Stone Cold's in it and Nelly's yeah, in it. Yeah, I have seen it. What do you think to the Creed movies? Obviously, we've got Creed 1 on now. Do you know what? I thought it were, to me, that's an half-decent way to carry on a franchise. Mm. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, I, and to rejuvenate a franchise because you've not, you've got the character in, but you've not, You've, you've not got him as he's not the key person that you're following you're not following Rocky in this you're following Adonis Creed yeah it's cheese isn't it? oh, it, proper cheese yeah, those films are cheese but I did cheese. enjoy Creed 1 I ain't seen Creed 2 but I did enjoy I don't think Creed I've one. seen Creed 2 I think you have I think we watched it that, mm-hmm. that'd be good oh no. no no we didn't it's imagine good. Creed 2 if bad guy had been Fury, Tyson Fury that would have been good although you could not imagine Michael B. Jordan beating no, Fury let's be honest he probably will be the bad guy in Creed 3 which he'd be perfect at wouldn't he I don't think there's any need for a Creed 3 well it'd be happening what's funny is if can you remember we went to an evening with, with Sylvester Stallone and it, that night he'd actually announced Creed and he said I'm on the first flight out tomorrow yeah. morning to go and film it yeah, yeah, you yeah. remember that, yeah. And actually, while we're on the subject, I've actually met Tyson Fury and shook his hand. He's mint, he's cool. I'd love to meet Tyson Fury. Yeah. I'm reading his book at the minute, it's really good. So, he's a legend. But yeah, I thought that were worth a debate, but maybe not. Tyson Fury! I can't, I can't do his voice. <laughs> I can do his dad's. I, I, I were doing it over night quite well, I can't do it now. This is a message for Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Deontay Wilder. Like, you can put a man down in the twelfth round, you feather duster. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Very good, sir. I like that quote where he says, uh, "Deontay Wilder is the best one-two puncher in the game. He knocks me out with the first punch and wakes me back up with the second." It's so classic. I love anyway, it. that does it for sports fucking movies. I thought that might have been a decent topic, but maybe not. No, it was good. So, that. I just think, like, with sports films, there's so yeah, well, many there of them. And, and there is, seriously, every sport on that you can think of. Maybe we should make a film about a anyway, sport what that hasn't had a film made. What have you watched lately? Tiddlywinks. They even, done a, they even did a film about t- uh, Crown Green Brawling. Well, have you, have you any more, watched any more? Well, I'll go them? first, because I'll be really quick. I've only watched two, and I didn't finish either of them. <laughs> I watched Downsizing last Friday at work. Oh, it's depressing. And I, I didn't mind it. I, I didn't mind it, to be honest. I've heard much worse about it. I got well into the second half, but I never managed to... I didn't manage to finish it. I will go back to it. I didn't mind it. I thought it were all right. And uh, the other one I watched, fucking hell. I put it on on, on Tuesday night. Uh, Motherless Brooklyn. Do you know what that is? Remind me, because I do. 
Edward Norton. It's Darren. Edward oh. Norton. Edward Norton's written it. Well, he's written the screenplay. It's based on a book. He directed it. He produced it, and he starred in it. Yeah. And I fucking turned it off after half an hour. It was awful. It might have been alright in cinema, but after watching the trailer and stuff for it, I rate like the vibe and the look it had. Like kind of like 1950s gangster cop type. Bruce Willis turns up for about five minutes, gets his pay slip and he's off. But he turns up to set the film's premise, basically one day of shooting. Yeah. Which I don't know why, but that irritates me. But then it, it, it just goes off and Edward Norton plays his character who's got this weird tick thing and it, just, it just didn't do all for me and I was gutted because I really wanted to like it. Well, I've not watched any films, I've been watching more TV. Because remember, I know we said this is called Forget Where It Was. Well, no, films, that's what I want to remember. We watch TV, we read comics, oh, we, yeah, yeah, everything's we go out for a stroll. <laughs> you know, is, we do all sorts. Which is another reason why I thought I'd mention Tyson Fury, because there's the documentary all about him on ITV. But sometimes it? TV can be just as good oh, yeah. as, as watching a film. Do you know what I mean? If there's good TV on. Well, you can watch a film on TV. Because I've been... Because <laughs> I've been still watching Picard, and I don't know if you two are. I watched the first episode, and... Um, so, I'm, I'm week for week with that at minute. I wouldn't watch Picard, because I've never watched Star Trek, so... Yeah. We were watching it before this. We were watching Star Trek. Oh, before yeah, Star Trek <laughs> Into Darkness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I thought you were like what? No, he's yeah, like saying so never watched. No, yeah, but I know no, what he's saying. He's, no, it, it, it's, it? it links into sort of like the next generation yeah. Star Trek Voyager. So and, and the, the next so generation if, films. If if somebody were to listen to this, like we mentioned last week, our new listener JJ, if somebody was going to go into Picard, what would you advise watching before before watching Picard? Star Trek Nemesis. It's, that's a film, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a, a major part about that, because even it, when it starts off, it said it takes place after. Uh, Star Trek Voyager. Is that a film? No, that's a TV I'm show. I'm kidding, I knew that. And Star Trek Next Generation TV show. Sort of like the last few like seasons. If you watch the last few seasons of both of those, you don't even have to watch all seven seasons. The last few seasons will explain a lot about some of the characters and that that are in it. Mm. We're mm. keeping you up. No. So, yeah, so Picard. Anyway, Liverpool Comic Con coming up in a couple of weeks, so... Next week. We'll do a... We'll do a... a week on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's catch you later.